honest, this is only like an hour from the Guyanese border. I didn't expect things to get that Brazilian that quickly, you know? Protests against the Russian presence here are taking place on a daily basis. Good morning, from Georgetown, in Guyana. And today, I was thinking, why don't we go take a little trip to Brazil? <laughs> we gotta do a little traveling to get there though. Guyana is the size of England. So, if I wanna go down to the southern border with Brazil, it's a bit of a distance. You, oh, you see my YouTube yeah, on Africa? Nice. Yeah, well, yeah well, I yeah. know. What am I doing here? <laughs> you have a wonderful country. Airport is adorable. It's like a field. I want to go check out the uh, the America supermarket. It's fun because uh, even though we're not even in Brazil yet. They've already got Brazilian products on the shelves here. Avia in flocos finos. Oleo de soldier. I get amused very easily. So we've got a couple of options today. It's still really early, and if we want, we could just immediately cross the border into Brazil. The border's like, I don't know, really close to here. On the other hand, my Guyanese friends keep telling me that this area is extremely beautiful. So, yeah. why don't we go like find a waterfall or something before we go. All right, I found a reasonably priced hotel by Guyana standards. And uh, I don't know, I'll keep my bags there, at least for the afternoon, maybe tonight. I'm gonna go find a driver to do some exploring. Let's go. It feels, uh, feels very different here from Georgetown. Yeah, it does. Like a different country. Yeah, it's like Brazil. This, I think this is the beauty that the Guyanese were telling me about. This is the Rupa Nuni. Once you get down here, you start seeing these vast grasslands, 
savannas. And they stretch from Guyana into Brazil. And it's a very, very distinctive part of this region. People from Georgetown and from Brazil as well will come here to visit and see the beauty of the area. And it reminds me so much of my beloved Tanzania and Kenya. Five minutes walk. All right. We're on our way now to see a waterfall. I've got to see at least one waterfall before I leave Guyana. All the Guyanese kept telling me, why didn't you go and see Kiter Falls? Which they will happily tell you is the largest single drop waterfall in the world. But it's kind of a hassle to get there. I'm sorry. I'll go next time. Look at the beauty of this. Like most other humans, I love waterfalls. But going by yourself is not quite the same. What a beautiful place. You've outdone yourself this time, Guyana. Right as I'm about to leave. No, no, just find check up, you know. Oh, check up? Just check up, you know. No, okay. it's not a new car, you just need to check up. Yeah. Well, it's been, uh, it's been running for 22 years, right? So huh? It's been running for 22 years, has yeah. it not? Yeah, 2000 model. There you go. 22 years is very long. Yeah. I can imagine. No, not 22 years. <laughs> it's like, um, what year are we doing? 2022? Yeah. It's gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Around like 15 years. That's still a lot of wear and tear. Yeah, it's a, a, lot, of, a lot of wear and tear. And this car came from Georgetown, not Brazil. Yeah, not Georgetown. Yeah. It's very strong, man. I love yeah. it because cheaper maintenance. Yeah. It's not a big, you know. Yeah. Two hundred US could do back the bottom of the car. Apparently, not too long ago, just to get into an indigenous village, the different tribes were asking that you get a COVID test. I think. That would have been a little bit too much hassle for me to pull off. But thankfully, Guyana just relaxed all the COVID stuff, which I kind of hope the whole world does. I'm not like anti-masking or anti-vaccine or anything. I just want the world to go back to normal, you know? Life out on the Rupununi. This area, if you haven't noticed already, it's predominantly inhabited by indigenous tribes, like the YY. And what's interesting is that these tribes will actually go back and forth across the border with Brazil without a passport <laughs> and interact with the tribes that live on the other side. Because, you know, they're essentially the same people. Alright, so we're almost back at Latem biggest uh, city in the region and uh, this is another village it's called Sentatius I guess you could call it almost like a suburb of Latem <laughs> I had like a few questions about the region because I'm like exploring Hi. Um, what's the name of the oh. tribe that lives around here Makoshi Makoshi we have the Makoshi the Lapa Shana? The Lapa Shana. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's like different groups that all yeah, live in the same yeah. place. Yeah. Okay. Because here is Central, there's a Central Village. Yeah. So you find people coming, migrating from the oh, um, far from villages and coming to Central. Oh, okay. Because of the internet available for their children's studies.
They're bringing it from Brazil. Você fala português? Peaceful. Mm. All right, hotel room in Letham, Guyana. The, uh, what's this place called again? The Takutu Hotel. What do you get for $40 at the Takutu Hotel, you might ask? Well, you get this bed, you get this mosquito net, which you will definitely need because there's a lot of bugs around here. And, uh, you get this AC that doesn't work properly. And you also get this bathroom, which I assume at some point had a shower curtain that was standing. What can I say? Not the worst place. And at least it wasn't $100 like that other place in Burbis. So here you have a map of all of Guyana. Right here is Georgetown. And then we're currently all the way down here. And our target for today is we're going to cross this little border to a, a town called Bonfin. And then, hopefully, we're gonna catch a bus or a taxi taking us all the way here to Boa Vista. A city not far from the Guyanese border that has doubled the population of Georgetown. <laughs> the biggest city in Guyana. Come to the conclusion that Letem, this town on the Brazilian border, is basically just one road. Really not a lot going on here. And then it fans out into a bunch of uh, Amerindian villages. Bento. They even asked for a bribe on the way out. I guess it's still a drive to the Brazilian side. Maybe I'll try to like catch a ride. Hi, right, excuse me. You know how to get to the Brazil? Yeah, that way. That way? There's like no taxis or anything going there? You can drop me over there? Yeah. I'll take you. I was very confused because they just said go out the door. <laughs> I thought I'd be in Brazil after, but no. No, no, no. You still have to cross the border. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, we just crossed the bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge. Oh, okay. That separates Diana from Brazil. Now we're in Brazil. Yeah. Okay, you cross the border. And then where you're going to is the federal bridge. And here where you will be stamping in your passport. Oh, okay. If you want us to wait for you, yeah. I don't mind waiting on you and then really? I drop you to the taxi point or the bus point, whichever one, because here now it's very hard to get a taxi. Oh wow. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Uh, Immigração Brasileira. 
Bem-vindo ao Brasil! Caralho! Um smells good over here, let's go check this out. Ah, hola, boa tarde. Quero comer esse. Esse? Vai todo ele? Yeah. Posso? Vai. Oh, muito bom. Um pessoal bem brasileiro. Uhum. Tenho muito fome. Bom dia, você pode mandar. Gosto de espaço de salsa, né? Eu não sei muito sobre o Brasil, para ser honesto. Mas eu sei que eles têm barbecue, como like Argentina. Trade my uh, guy and his money now. Você quer seu? Você quer meu. Ah, ok. Não vale nada, irmão. Não vale nada. Ok, obrigado, meu amor. Oi. <laughs> Boa tarde. Oh, muito bonito, muito bonito. Oh, okay. oh man. Can you believe this is actually my first time in Brazil? I can't even believe it. And this is definitely not the normal way that most people come to Brazil <laughs> for the first time. But uh, regardless. But I'm liking the Brazilian vibe so far. What is this supposed to be? Is this like uh maybe for like a volleyball game or something? Brazilians, what do you think this is? Huh. Compared to uh the Guyanese border town, Latin, this place feels more like a town. I guess it's got a barber shop over there, it's got a Consultorio odontólogo dentist right up there. Agora eu sei porque toda vez que tu vai, eu tô meio ruim. Tudo bem? Onde estão os uh, táxis? Para Boa Vista. Oh, atrás? Ok. Bom fim, entre municipal. Does that mean a taxi? I'm not sure. Boa Vista? Uh, he's, <coughs> so he's saying normally they would go with six other people to make the cost more manageable. And he's offering 300 reais for me alone. That would be, I don't think that's that expensive. I think that's like $32. So let's just do that. I mean... <laughs> We're sitting around waiting here all day. Otherwise, por favor, eu quero eu quero guaraná. Esse esse suco. É de Brasil? É de Brasil? Vem de Brasil? Meu amigo, vamos lá. Okay. What's the local? Sweets. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're not in Guyana or Suriname anymore. In Guyana, I think you can send out the lot. Yeah, this lot. It's very beautiful. It's beautiful. Toda esta região, você olha assim? Sim, toda a região de Marai é muito bonita. Ah, é claro. É como a Guayana. Sim. É. Do outro lado. Ah, man. So I asked my newest taxi driver to uh, stop by the side of the road here just to take in the amount of beauty you have in this area crazy so clearly the Rupa Nunes as they're called in Guyana stretch here into Brazil 
into the state of Rodaima. We're on our way now to Boa Vista, which is the capital of the state. That's by the Rio Branco right now. The White River. Agora estamos em Boa Vista. Brazilian room, a little Brazilian Airbnb. Only about thirty dollars a night, or twenty-five or thirty dollars a night. I can't remember, but uh, cheaper than everywhere I stayed in Guyana. <laughs> I can confirm that there is hot water here. What a luxury! crazy. This feels so much more like the Latin America that I'm used to. Oh man. It's, it's just mind-blowing to me. Keep in mind we're only about one hour away from the border with Guyana and yet this feels so much more like Argentina, which is thousands upon thousands of kilometers away from here. I mean, just look at these trash cans. This is super Latin American right here. Guyana and Suriname feel like another universe. The only way you could tell that this street wasn't in, say, Mexico, or Colombia, or Argentina, is the fact that everybody here speaks a messed up version of Spanish, also known as Portuguese, which I kind of speak. I've never been to Brazil before, so I haven't gotten a lot of practice, but I understand enough, I guess. Also, Brasileiros, isso foi uma brincadeira. Adoro a sua língua, não se preocupem. Uh, at least on first observations, I want to apologize to Argentina. Brazil has beaten you with the stray dog problem. Anyway, I'm really excited for this. Really, really excited. This is the start of a new Brazilian adventure. And it's going to be our Brazilian adventure. I'm going to go where these other vlogging mother scunters have never gone. Go to bang. And it all starts here. So until next.